Sadism and Empathy Deficits, a Psychological Perspective Sadism, often portrayed in popular culture as a sinister and extreme form of cruelty, is a complex psychological phenomenon that has fascinated researchers and clinicians for years. To understand sadism, it's essential to explore it through the lens of empathy deficits. In this video, we will delve into the psychological aspects of sadism and its relationship with empathy deficits. Defining Sadism Sadism, named after the infamous Marquis de Sade, is characterized by deriving pleasure from inflicting pain, suffering, or humiliation on others. It is a personality trait that can manifest in various forms, ranging from mild to severe. While most people may experience occasional thoughts of cruelty or aggression, sadism is distinctive in its persistent and gratifying nature. Empathy, the compassion connection. Empathy, on the other hand, is the capacity to understand and share the feelings of others. It is a fundamental aspect of human social interaction, enabling us to connect, communicate, and form meaningful relationships. Without empathy, society would unravel into chaos, as our ability to comprehend and respond to the emotional states of others is central to maintaining social bonds and cooperation. The Sadism Empathy Dichotomy Sadism and empathy are often seen as opposites in the realm of human emotions. Those with sadistic tendencies typically exhibit deficits in empathy. The inability to empathize with the suffering of others allows sadistic individuals to engage in cruel behaviors without guilt or remorse. Research suggests that sadism and empathy are inversely related. The more pronounced sadistic traits a person possesses, the lower their levels of empathy tend to be. This empathy deficit makes it easier for them to engage in harmful actions without experiencing the emotional distress that a non-sadistic person might feel when causing pain to another. Understanding the causes. The origins of sadism and empathy deficits are multifaceted. They can be attributed to a combination of genetic, environmental, and psychological factors. Some individuals may have a genetic predisposition towards sadistic tendencies, while others may develop them in response to adverse life experiences or traumatic events. In childhood, the lack of positive role models, abuse, or neglect can hinder the development of empathy. This absence of empathy can pave the way for sadistic traits to emerge later in life. Implications for Society Understanding the link between sadism and empathy deficits is crucial for several reasons. First, recognizing these traits early in individuals can help prevent potential harm to others. Second, this knowledge is valuable for law enforcement and the criminal justice system. Recognizing the connection between sadism and empathy deficits can aid in profiling and understanding the motivations of individuals who commit acts of violence, thereby assisting in the prevention and rehabilitation efforts. Conclusion Sadism and empathy deficits, while deeply intertwined, are not immutable traits. Various factors can shape them, and understanding the psychology behind these phenomena is essential for addressing and preventing harm. Whether in the context of clinical psychology, law enforcement, or personal relationships, recognizing the connection between sadism and empathy deficits offers a path to fostering a more compassionate and empathetic society.